Hey guys, it's Mama One here again with my 11th build that I have titled Blue White Oval because that is just that. I couldn't get too creative in the naming, although I got creative in the making. Um, this one is one of mine, Ooh, one of my own builds here. Um, it, I wanted something ovally, I wanted something round, I wanted something that was not square. So that is exactly what I did. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and we'll just get started here. I had the dark wood door and then the door block. So the door is sitting on this block here. And that's one, two, three, four, five. And I went three across. If I go in one, it's gonna be five across and then two rows of seven across. Um, on the exterior or on the frame of the door, I use the dark wood trap door. Um, if you haven't noticed, blue is my favorite color. Uh, and then coming out, not counting the frame of the door is one, two, three behind the tree, four, five. And I went in one for one, two, three. In one again for one, two, three. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I went in one again. And again. And again. And again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just getting over a cold. I'm sorry. And then uh, for the sidewall here, it's one, counting the, end, the corner piece here. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including this corner. And you're going to go up one, two, three. This is visually from the outside. So you're going to want to do one more above this third one to make it four and then carry that all the way across to this corner and matching these columns all the way around. Now, this is one of those builds that are um, uniformed all the way around. So whatever you see on one side is going to be the exact same thing on the other side. So as long as you build it, or as, however you build it on one side, you just do it the same on the other side and you'll be fine. So those are the walls on just this side here. The, the right wall and the right side. The back wall is going to match this front side identically. So above, um, we've got one, two, three, four, technically. Attached to that fourth one, you're going to have the blue concrete. And you are just going to carry that too high all the way around the house. Matching, uh, I hate not being able to maneuver, matching it all the way around. Okay. Um, on the bottom of the second block up here, I use the quartz slab. And that is two over from the door. And it goes one, two, three, four, five total. And it's one, two, three out. And then I use the aluminum post on this front corner, on either of the front corners, and I put a torch. I really liked how the torch stuck on there. As soon as I put the torch down, it, it did that, which is really cool. And that's just the bottom of the aluminum post, which is also really cool. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. For the next layer, like I said, it's staircased in, so it's one in, which is going to match up to the white wall down here. And I just matched the same design all the way around. And then I used the light blue concrete, did the same thing. I went one in and matched the design all the way around the house. The only difference is the corner pieces here, as you can see, the white. Where the white is here, I've left that block open up here. And I did that so that I could do my staircase, my stairs up top um, so I could get them to look right because I couldn't get it to look right otherwise. Now, maybe if you do it, you can get it to look right. And more power to you. Happy for you. I couldn't do it. Um, so I did it this way. And then again, 
one in. I did quartz stairs all the way around. And then finally, I did a quartz slab going one in all the way across the top. So that's the outside. The inside, again, another pressure plate. I decided under the pressure plate to put a dark wood slab because I wanted to be able to see the pressure plate without it being too, too obvious. So this way being the same color as the door, it just kind of blends in. And I like using the pressure plates because it automatically closes the door behind me. Um, the windows, I didn't tell you about the windows. The window holes are two over and then the third one is gonna be a window that's too high. I'm gonna have this block and then a window that's too high. So it's basically every th the middle of every set of three, I did a two high window. Okay. So when we go in here, it's so pretty. These colored bricks are all the bricks or blocks, sorry, um, that were on the outside. So whatever you placed on the outside is going to show up in here, which is actually kind of cool. It's an aesthetic that I wasn't counting on, but when I saw it, I really, really liked it. So as you can see, here's the wall that you built, and then there's the one blue that's sticking out, and I left it open because I like it that way. And then this is the other white concrete I told you would be right above this wall, which it is. And then the rest just kind of jettison in one by one. Um, all the way across, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 blocks from one door to the other door. And again, everything I did on the front is the exact same thing I did on the back. Um, from side to side, so you're gonna add a wall here. So from the doorway, not counting that block, it's one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So again, even Stevens. It was gonna be right dead smack in the middle. And then of course, you do your wall all the way down. And let's see, from the front door, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eighth block is gonna be where you leave your doorway opening. Um, and again, I did the dark wood plank here so that it, you can see that there's a doorway Obviously, the trap wood, trap wood, the dark wood trap doors also show you there's a doorway. Um, but anyway, I just like the aesthetic of it. Uh, let's see, one, two, third block in, third block up. I made a three wide window. And then there's one, two blocks, and a third block for the door. And then another two blocks, and then I did a window to leave three blocks over here. You can make your window lower if you want. You can take your window out. You can do whatever you want up there. Um, again, everything I'm doing on this side is going to match to everything that's on this side. So then when you come in here, ooh, aesthetics. Um, you're going to have, not counting the doorway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the rest, obviously the floor will be filled in with the white concrete. I chose the white concrete because I can walk much, much faster on the white concrete. Um, I know it looks like different colors, but that's just because of the lighting. Um, I did just kind of throw the torches down because I think at this point I was just tired and I didn't want to think about lighting. So I just threw the torches down to avoid mob spawning. Um, these are the windows, Oop, actually, hello, where am I at? These are the front windows I was telling you about every set of three, I did a center window of two high. These are the two on the side. And then I did the dark wood slab starting on the very bottom of the bottom block and then did three of them all the way around until you get to here where the other window is, which is the side window. And then I continued the slabs 
on this corner, on these corners as well. <clears throat> now, as soon as you walk in, one, two, three to the left, and one, two, third one up is where I put my first stair. I staircased it up so I could meet the floor. Under the stairs, I did inverted stairs for aesthetic reasons. I didn't want to completely block it off. The floor is also white concrete, same as down here. It is your roof or your ceiling as well. So it's just one layer. Now, if you remember, this was open here. So you can actually like jettison in a little bit. I left it that way out here as well, because again, I like the aesthetic of it. The other purpose is if you have furnaces um, and things like that, you can put them under here and it's not taking away from your floor space. Um, so that leaves it open for you. This is all, this was all existing based on what I did on the outside. And again, I just threw down some torches. Um, if you look for your stair opening, oh yeah, 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 no way. Um, from the blue is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of the white concrete. On this edge here, I put the blue stained glass pane so that, you know, you wouldn't just fall off. Plus, it's aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then you have a completely open up here. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can continue your white concrete all the way over so that you have all of this area here to continue building, not building, um, for like work area. Um, again, that's up to you. Uh, you can make it your own, make it different, make it functional. Um, but from where I am, from this end here, you're going to have three blocks in, and then you're going to leave an opening of one, two, three, four, basically. And that fourth one is where your top stair is going to go. And that way you don't hit your head on anything and you can easily, you know, kind of walk down. Um, but I wanted this all to be open so that it was, you know, like an open room or open air concept room. Um, but as you can tell, it's the same layout on one side as it is on the other side. It's just flipped, um, just like an apartment would be or something. It's the same thing. And then outside of the back door, whoo, this is the only thing I hate about the concrete. <laughs> you go too fast sometimes. So from the back door block, you have one, two, three, four, five, three across, five across, and then two rows of seven across. And this, something I've seen in several other videos, something I've done in a lot of my videos. If you've seen the other ones, you'll, you'll know that this is just an anvil and then two leaf blocks on top. And then this is also an option is the carpeting. I did carpeting on the top of the blocks to avoid mob spawning. You do not need to do that. You can do torches or you can just leave it alone. I just didn't want to, you know, wake up one morning and have mobs all over my ceiling or all over my roof. Um, I also added just some aesthetic things like some bushes and I think some flowers somewhere. Yeah, out front I added some flowers just to, you know, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, please do feel free to leave them. I will answer your questions as soon as I can. Um, excuse me. If you have any suggestions, I am always open to constructive criticism. I'm not a professional streamer, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it here. So I'm open to constructive criticism, but please be nice. Don't be mean. Um, I don't really care, but I also just want everybody to be considerate of everybody else, including me. So just uh, enjoy. And if you have any questions, if you decide to do this yourself and change it up a little, feel free to show me. Send me your link. Let me know what you did. Um, I'm happy to see the progress, you know, that you've done and, and see what maybe I've helped you create. So uh, otherwise, I will see you guys next time for my next build. I think it's build number 12. Thanks, guys. Bye.